Hey everybody, it's Ryan Bridge Bugman, and I am here at headquarters, obviously, and I am also bringing you back in for another package arrival here at the headquarters. This is also coming from Arizona, and this is going to be cool. Let's pop this sucker open, and let's see how things go. This came from Bugman Steve, and I'm pretty sure I know what these are. Oh man, he did it. This is awesome. What I have are Western Lubber Grasshoppers. These probably go by many different names. Watch this. Here comes something cool. <laughs> they squeak. But they also have big bright red wings, just like our Eastern Lubbers have. So we're going to be using these in programs. You'll notice that like most of the grasshoppers, they're pretty content if you just put them on your finger and let them sit. See that? They handle well. They don't want to hop. They don't necessarily try to get away right away. And they're really content. The best part is they're not going to bite, man. I don't want anything that's going to hurt anybody. Here's a big female. Really nice, big, heavy female. And you just cannot go wrong with these grasshoppers. For the moment, these are going to go into the, the cage. Uh, I'm even going to put them in here with the egg crate that he provided because they apparently, you know, need something to climb on. That's typical of grasshoppers. They like to crawl and climb and don't do much hopping. I'm going to uh, break this shell apart, sort of lay them in here and just kind of let them do their thing. And then we're going to be using these in programs. Now I am down to my very last Florida lubber grasshopper. She's been with me for a long time. Look at the size of this thing. This is a really nice jumbo, just a big old grasshopper. You gotta love this. If I can keep these things around long enough and keep them fed, fat, and happy, I'm gonna make a lot of people really happy for programs over the next few months. Apparently they eat carrots, which is good because I can throw some carrots in there with them until I get them on some of the other substrates and uh, the other food plants that I'm gonna try on them. Because I, again, man, first time I've had these things. So there you go, man, very cool. Big old Western, we'll call them grasshoppers because that's what they are. Super fun, super cool and absolutely beautiful and these are going to be amazing to use for programs so stay tuned guys it always stays fun here at bugman headquarters especially when we get cool shipments coming in like this of more educational insects that we can bring out to everybody else hope you guys enjoy these videos take it easy we'll see you